We've talked about the most gratifying part of being a council person as far as Dan Griffith's concerned. How about uh, the most disappointing? Um, I think for me, the most disappointing piece has been um, a challenge associated with some of the collaborative efforts that we've tried. Um, a number, not in the last term, but before that, we worked on a joint economic development agreement with some of our neighbors in North Canton. Right, that was what, Canton, Jackson, and Plain? Correct, yes. And where did you stand on uh, that particular? I supported it, helped negotiate it, worked, worked to try to get that in place. And, you know, it wasn't a perfect agreement. Um, but that's just an example of where I think if you work really hard on a project, if I'd worked on that bond project and it, it would have ended up not happening, then that would have been really frustrating. So any project that you work on for a long time that doesn't come to fruition, I think is one that can be very frustrating. So that's a good example of, of the frustration that's there. I think also my frustration from a broader and more, maybe more, more general sense is um, the communication. I think people in North Canton, there are a lot of good things that are going on that we just talked about, just generally. Um, and over my tenure and before, I think a lot of that didn't get communicated very effectively. We have very recently put in place some new things that I think will help with that process, a very active Facebook page, the newsletters that are there. But, you know, government has to be really, really proactive about communicating with, with, with our our consumers, you know, the people who are in our town and our business owners. And I've been frustrated that we haven't done a better job of that too.